Uh, it's a fictitious town that we've all come to know and love. Yeah, but it is time for Saskatchewan to say its final goodbye to Dog River. Catherine Hill takes us to the demolition site. The tank has run dry on an attraction in small town Saskatchewan. After more than a decade, the corner gas gas station is no more. The moment that the truck actually started to push the gas station down, I have to say uh, that was an emotional moment because we have had so much fun in that building. And that building has created an enormous amount of joy to the whole country. The set was built in 2003, and the first episode of Corner Gas aired in January of 2004. You and your book smarts. The gas station set was expected to stand for four or five years. But nearly 14 years, six seasons, and one movie later, it still drew series fans to Rolo. We had probably, I would say, close to 800 people this summer from Ontario, from Vancouver, uh, Victoria, the States. Still, structural concerns mean it's time to bring it down. This land is actually swamp land, so even building, rebuilding the station on this land didn't make any sense. The structure was not built for longevity. It, it never was. Dog River may have been a fictional town, but Mayor Grant Clark says the show managed to capture small town prairie life and share Rolo with the rest of the world. And obviously, everybody liked it. They liked it in Toronto, they liked it in the United States, they liked it in Vancouver. So there was something about it that, that caught your attention. We're on the map with being AKA Corner Gas. While the set of Corner Gas may be gone, the show wants to make sure that the legacy of Dog River continues. Walking tours are set to begin in the town of Rollo next summer, and there are plans to partner with the Western Development Museum in Moose Jaw. Catherine Hill, CTV News, Rollo.